in this problem, we're told to evaluate the improper integral from 1 to inf uh, infinity of 1 over 2x plus 1 cubed dx. So in order to solve an improper integral like this, what you're going on to do is rewrite it as a limit. So we're going to say is equal to the limit, and then you're going to want to choose an arbitrary variable such as t. So as t approaches, and then what you're going to do is if you have a definite number like this, like 1, and then infinity or negative infinity, you're going to see uh, say as t approaches uh, infinity, or if you had a negative infinity, negative infinity, we have a positive infinity. So the limit as t approaches infinity, and then just rewrite your integral. Uh, instead of infinity, you're just going to put a t. So we can say from 1 to t instead of infinity of 1 over uh, 2x plus 1 cubed dx. So now we've got it like this. What we want to do next is just solve this integral. So we're going to focus on the limit later, but just solve this integral first. So it's going to be the integral from 1 to t of 1 over 2x plus 1 cubed dx. So solving this integral, we can use u substitution. So we're going to say u is equal to 2x plus 1. And then du would just be 2, right? Because 2x would just be 2, and then this is 0. So 2 dx. So that means dx is equal to du over 2. So that's going to be that. So let's rewrite it and replace it with u. So by now, you should be pretty good at solving these. So 1 over, uh, this is just going to be u cubed, and then replace dx with du over 2. So du over 2, uh, we're just going to rewrite this as, so I'm going to move the, this is just 1 half, right? So 1 half times du, I'm just going to move it out front. So du, this is 1 half, and then 1 over u cubed is the same thing as u to the minus 3. So this is just going to be 1 half times u to the minus 3 du. So that's going to be that. So now what we want to do is just uh, take the antiderivative of this. So u, and then we just add 1, so minus 2. And we solve this 1 half out front, right? And then we're dividing by minus 2. So we just add 1 and then divide by the exponent. So 1 half divided by minus 2 is just minus 1 over 4. So minus 1 over 4, u to the minus 2. And so now we just got to replace u with uh, what we solved it to be, so, or what we set it to be, so 2x plus 1. So it's just equal to uh, minus 1 over 4 times 2x plus 1 to the minus 2. And then we got to evaluate it from our range, right, upper and lower bound, so from 1 to t. And so now let's just go ahead and plug these in. So we're going to plug in t, get a value, minus whatever 1 plugged in is. So go ahead and do that. You're going to get minus 1 over 4 times 2t plus 1 to the minus 2. Let me actually fix this. So 2t plus 1 to the minus 2. And then we got to plug in minus 1, or 1, but it's going to be minus. So we're minusing minus 1 over 4, right? So it's just going to become positive. So plus 1 over 4. So plus 1 over 4, 2 times 1. So 2 times 1 is just going to be 2. And then plus 1 is 3. So 3 to the minus 2. Uh, 3 to the minus 2 is the same thing as 1 over 3 squared. So 1 over 3 squared is just 1 over 9. And then 1 over 9 times 1 over 4 is going to be 1 over 36. So we're going to have minus 1 over 4 times 2t plus 1 to the minus 2 plus, and then this is going to be 1 over 36. And so now this right here is this integral solved. So all we did was just go ahead and solve that. So now we have to evaluate it as the limit as t approaches infinity of this whole thing. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we plug in infinity here, so we just got to replace t with infinity. So 2 times infinity is just going to be infinity, right? It's still going to be a really big number. Plus 1 is still going to be infinity because we're just adding 1 to infinity. It still stays infinity. So infinity to the minus 2, uh, that's the same thing as if you had x to the minus 2, for example, it's the same thing as 1 over x squared. So in this case, it's just 1 over infinity squared. And so 1 over infinity squared, infinity squared is a really big number, right? So essentially, this is just going to go to 0 because it's just going to get smaller and smaller or a smaller and smaller fraction, which just approaches 0. So we can just say that this whole thing right here is 0. And then multiplying it by minus 1 over 4 is still going to be 0, right? 0 times anything is 0. So we just have 0, and then it's just going to be plus 1 over 36. So hopefully you know how to solve them it's still, but essentially this is just going to be 1 over 36. And so notice how this goes to a definite number. It doesn't go to like infinity or negative infinity. So essentially what that means is it's going to converge, right? So this thing is going to converge onto 1 over, uh, 1 over 36. So 
because it goes to a definite number, it's going to converge. So this improper integral is going to go to 1 over 36. It's going to converge. And so, yeah, that's going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.